This is a uh, follow-up video uh, from past videos that we had uh, that were uh, very much focused on how are we to function in this insane, crazy world that we live in, uh, generally amongst people that have faith uh, in a system that uh, is based on nothing more than monetary gain and wealth, uh, which could easily collapse in seconds because they don't have the power to that, nor do they understand how it actually operates or uh, what makes uh, the world of money and wealth occur. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, this video is, is really just uh, a further up continuance uh, to give people more so, because what I'm uh, going to be talking about uh, seems to be more on the legal side than grace. So I will, uh, at this point, call it a legal view. And a legal view is just my observation looking in from where I am at this moment. And uh, therefore, it's technically not evidence. Um, in, a, in a sense, uh, uh, it is, it's used uh, as more so as an observation of what I see looking in. More as someone without uh, taking a judgmental uh, direction on something. Uh, just basically trying to understand how the world around me works and what I've seen and therefore to help others to uh, also comprehend it. Um, I, of course, uh, at this point, uh, almost as the, as the birth certificates are set up, uh, you'll notice on this side I've got a, uh, you know, a law dictionary, a Black's Law 4th edition on the left side, and I've got the Holy Bible on the right so you'll notice that your surname will be on the left side, at least what appears to be the surname, and your actually real truth is on the right side, a little bit of a set-off between good and evil. Um, in reality, Christ has already set you free, but Caesar's world will have a set-off. A set-off is a little different than a set-free. If you're free, you're free. Um, not free from the understanding to respect the world you live around, not free from the understanding that if you touch something that's legal, that you're not going to be held responsible, not free from the fact that God will hold you to knowledge that comes from his word on how to operate your life in uh, peace, love, and faith. But uh, we're, we're dealing with now uh, going ahead and uh, using our conscious uh, scruple to not violate belief and faith, and where Caesar's world may actually cause a concern, because at this particular stage right now in the world, it is moving ever so close to the fact that all those that are democratic participants will have eventually a choice between their conscious scruple to serve God and be subsumed into the aggregate to, to just rationalize that they can be involved in the wrong and still be okay with God. And therefore, all those that buy and sell will soon get the mark of the beast. So it had to do with commerce. Strangely, the final uh, prophecy on who those will be marked as a beast uh, will be based on the idea of commerce. And we already know the scripture already states you cannot serve God and mammon, God and money. Um, so therefore, uh, someone having this beast mark uh, is shortly coming. It won't be a matter of voluntary consent. It will be that if you have anything that's already linked in or locked in, in order to confirm it, to attest for it, uh, to uh, uh, basically <clears throat> claim it under a, some form of civil right, uh, you will have to come forward and comply in the aggregate of mankind, which deals with the idea of humanitarianism, to get the mark of the beast. And a beast is an animal, and therefore it's not uncommon that many Germanic names will even have an animal name in it, such as Wolf. There's many German people that have the last name Wolf. Well, if your name was John and your supposed last name is Wolf, you'd be John 
the wolf. So you'd be saying you're John the animal. Uh, it's amazing that we've not seen these most, uh, I would say, uh, if they were like <laughs> traffic symbols on the road, <laughs> signs of warning, uh, they were in front of us, but we just didn't notice them. So it, the videos to come um, are going to be based on explaining some clear understandings how Caesar's world operates um, and what are you to do uh, in the midst of uh, trying to, uh, at least on a spiritual aspect, uh, seek first the kingdom of God, okay, which has nothing to do with seeking mammon or money, and therefore not violate your faith, your conscience, your Christian scruples that are found in this book, your Christian's charter, and uh, remain free and separate from the world of mankind that has gone into what is uh, clearly a world of humanitarianism, thinking that man can solve its own problems, which we know is erroneous to God's final plan revelation.